Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I want to explain a very, very important concept in Revit, which is called filters. Now, I have explained on one of my previous videos, I've explained on how you can create and use filters, but I want to even go deeper by making use of, you know, parameters which are called project parameters which you can utilize in a filter so that you can be more and more efficient as you start detailing you know your riba on the floor plans okay you may agree with me that as you start working on complex structures you may find the need for you to you know to detail you know riba on different layers on different plans okay so that it's easy for the builders to read whatever has been designed and let me just show you some of the you know project parameters that we are going to create if i just go to manage and if i just click on project parameters right there just cl close there you see that i have created that project parameter called bottom and the other one called top i'll show you exactly on how we can do it and if i just select any of the bars there i just go down you see that i've created those parameters under the visibility and i'm able to apply you know the filter that i want to use all right so i just want to show you what you learn so that you watch from start to finish if i go to visibility i go to filters i have the layer and the colors there if i just deactivate the two they apply everything disappear i can decide just to show one layer just like that and in that way you can decide to show different layers okay on any particular you know plan depending on what you want to show so this is very very important you can't do it's very difficult for you to be more efficient without you know uh, using the filters and also creating parameters okay now before i proceed i also want to mention that we have different parameters here but it will be necessary for you to create your own parameters because you are going to exhaust the parameters that are here as your model become complex so let me not you know explain too much let me just go into the details and let's get started in this lesson Now, before I proceed, I just want to ask all of you, please don't just watch my videos, subscribe to my channel and also like my videos. And for anyone who'd like to learn, you know, Revit architecture, Revit structure or robot structure analysis in a course, make sure that you check the links in the description. Now, let me just delete whatever I've done here in terms of the parameters so that now we get started. So I've just deleted all the parameters that I created. I've also deleted the layers. If you have to just check here, you can just click there and you see that I don't have the two parameters that I created. And if I just go to visibility graphics, go to filters, there's nothing here. I click on edit, there's also nothing here. So I want to start from scratch. We see how we can create these parameters. Okay. So the first step for you, you have to plan your work and see what you want to create. In my case, I want to make it very, very simple. I just want to create two project parameters that i can use in my filters all right so my the whole purpose of me doing this is that i want to create different plans this one is just going to show the bottom reinforcement and this one is just going to show the top reinforcement so again it's entirely up to you as i've said you can have even more the same you know the same floor you can have maybe the the, the extra top riba the extra bottom riba others will simply combine everything on one plan so it's entirely up to you so i'll go to my 3d view and the first thing that i'll start with is go to manage click on project parameters and i'll click on new so that i can create i mean i can create the first project parameter all right so i'll click on new and i'm just going to call this one bottom all right make sure that it's on project parameter and the discipline common is okay then i'll go to data type i want text because i just want to type in that parameter okay then i want to group this one under visibility you later on you see it under the visibility there so we are done here instance is fine because i want it to be you know placed under the instance you know parameters then here you have to check the category of course i'm dealing with structural rib again these parameters can be created for anything if you are dealing with walls floors whatever you can create the parameters but in this case it's a structural okay it's a structural uh, riba i just want to filter so that i can quickly find it structural riba and click on the structural riba there then simply click on okay and you see that we have that parameter there i'll create another one but instead of me doing all that i'll simply duplicate this one can i duplicate okay i'll simply click on new and create a different one i'll call it top 
all right from there then common is okay data type i want a text then i'll group it still under visibility instance parameter and i just want to find the structural river right here select it and click ok and click ok so i have two project parameters now if i just go down you see that i will not see anything because i categorize it under structural river if i select a column i will not see that one called the visibility so that i can see those two parameters but once i select the river and go down i'll see the visibility as a category is on you know as a section on is on and have bottom and top now you are not yet done the river is not yet assigned to a you know a parameter so you need to select it and assign it here so i'll go to the top and i'll pick the top river hold control and select this one i've selected the top river and i want to assign it to a separate layer you know as i create my my details for my floor plan okay so i'll go down there and under the top i'll now type here all right there's nothing i'll call it top okay now you have to know how you are typing if you're using capital letters make sure that you master it if you're using spaces make sure that you you know exactly what you've typed here because that is what you're going to take to the you know to the filter so this is top as simple as that i can click on apply or just enter on my keyboard or just move my cursor inside it's applied there right then i can select the bottom river again i said you have to plan whatever we're doing here but i want to make it simple i'll select that one hold control select the other one and i just want to let me just go down here now this one is bottom i'll click there all right and just type bottom and just enter from my keyboard oh make sure that you type it correctly I'll remove that one enter once again apply and i have those two you know project parameters assigned to the top and the bottom river okay let's hope you are following now i'm not yet done still i need now to go to the filters because i have these parameters that i can use so just go to visibility graphics okay or you can i like going to visibility graphics by video you can just click on view and click on visibility graphics on top then right here you see that we have the filters just click on the filters there then from here you can create now a new filter just click on new and here under the filters just click on new once again and i like making it simple maintaining the same text that i typed there i'll start with the top exactly the way it is make sure that you this is a, a rule based filter that's the one you are creating click ok you have it right there top let me also create bottom or maybe i'll do it later then here under the filters again under the category sorry make sure that you pick the structural river again we are doing the structural river select it then as you come here now all you need to do under the structural here now find this one here the top the one that you created you know that project parameter it should appear here once if you just did it you know properly it should appear here so i'm looking for top i can even type t there and it's right there click it oh sorry where is it let me just find it type t and you know just select it there we have top then from here you have different rules that you can use i want to be equal to top because that's how i typed it here so i'll pick equals and it should automatically be found within there because you already created it here we are just creating a field and picking whatever we created and make sure that you pick that particular category from here it will match with whatever you created there so i'll open it there and you see that top is right there it's as simple as that then click on apply and click on ok let me create another filter by clicking on new you will see we have top but i'll simply duplicate this one because i already you know the, the, the properties are almost similar so now i'll just click on duplicate there now i just need to right click rename it and i want to call this one as bottom then click ok it's right there but remember i set up everything correctly i just need to come here and change now under the structure now to bottom and it should be found here because once again we already created it there so i want bottom all right so select on it then equals and bottom should be found here you don't have to type it at this point click on bottom and apply and okay now we have created our filters now the next step is for you to add the filters right here so i'll click on add and you see that we have the bottom a hold control and the top 
I'll click OK and those two filters are added. From here now, it even appears under the visibility graphics. You know, you in just enable those two filters there. Then you can just play around with the visibility graphics here. You see that if I just deactivate the two, I click on apply everything will disappear if i just want to turn one layer i can just click there you see that one layer will appear let me this is the let me just check it here this is the top let me click on okay and you can see that that is just the top layer from here as you can see if i just go to vg once again go to filter i just want to show the bottom just activate it here turn it off apply okay as you can see we have the bottom layer now that can still be done in any view if I now go to the bottom here if i go to visibility graphics but again this is view specific now there's something that i want to explain here if you go to a different views click on filters you are not going to see anything okay but you can create a, a view template all right and you are able to place these things but again really it's something that you can even do without a view template i can just click on add the two are already there hold control apply okay and you see we have those two so it's still fast so i'll go to bottom and deactivate the top click on apply okay and we just have one layer here if i go to vg once again filters and deactivate everything apply okay you see everything will disappear all right so this is very important i'll go to the other one i want you to follow go to filters click on add new select the bottom and the top all right hold control so that i select both what am i doing here let me just cancel sorry i'll have to click on add bottom hold control top okay then this one is the top so i'll just uh, remove this one and push it there apply okay and we have one layer now how do we apply you know the colors and before we do that now we can start even detailing now because we are sure that we only have one layer here it will be very easy i can select on that rib i just want to show two and i can do that all right let me go to vg what did i do uh, how many layers do i have i just have the top okay this is in one direction then i can select that one and show one in the other direction so you can continue detailing now if you want to learn on how to detail your rib and everything check my videos on this channel you see how you can start detailing your slabs now before i go i want to show you that you can also add the colors on this one just by using now the filters if i just go to vg there click on filters let me act activate you know both layers and from here i can just go to override there let me just maybe click there and apply this color on this one apply okay 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 so one layer i have the color there this is the easiest way once you just set up your filters go to filter on the other one right just click there okay right then i can even go to color books there new feature in revit 2024 pick that color or anyway i can pick any color i'll just pick that one okay apply okay apply okay and you see that you have the layer so this is how you can you create your layers this is how you can create your project parameters apply it and you can create now a view template such that you just be picking it and applying it thanks for watching like my videos and subscribe